Komodo Internet Security version 4. If you download the installer, double click it to run. Pick your language. You only have a choice of three on the initial install. Accept the agreement. Click next. Click next again. And you will have the option to install the antivirus, the hotserve toolbar, and trust connect. I would select the firewall only. Now, tick this box. Do not install the packages after downloading. Otherwise, you will be installing live PC support 30 day free trial. And when it's finished, if you click the link here when the download is finished, it will open up the folder that contains the setup. Now, that's the live PC support. This is the one I want, which is Komodo Internet Security Setup. Double click it to run. Close that window. Click finish on the installer and allow the wizard to walk you through. Accept the license agreement. Click next. Entirely up to you whether you enter your email address. Install Komodo Firewall. Uh, antivirus if you wish to. I won't. I'm happy with what I have. You have the option of firewall only with optimum proactive defense or maximum. I will go with maximum defense. You have the option to join the Threatcast community or not, and you also have the option to use Komodo Secure DNS servers. Untick, make hopsurf.com my homepage and make ours.com my default search provider. Click next and install. And this will take a few minutes. It'll take a bit longer than what you see on here, as I've shortened it a bit. Now, when it's finished, your lifetime license will have been activated and you'll have this little shield icon on your desktop. Click finish and as with all firewalls you will need to reboot to initialize it. So click yes. Now when I come back you'll find that you have it's found your network. You can give it a name if you like. If you share your internet connection or you share files and folders on your home network or whatever you can tick the second box here to make it fully accessible and you can also not automatically detect new networks. Now. Komodo Firewall has its sandbox built into it. Now it's found Sandboxy, which I will take outside of the sandbox. And it's also found Eraser, which I do not want to run this application inside the sandbox. It's that simple. Now if you open the user interface, it's now had a few subtle changes, like the colours red. But apart from that, you get an instant view of everything that's going on. The network defence, the proactive defence. And if we go to the firewall, most of it's pretty much the same as in previous versions. You can view events, you can define a new trusted application by file group running process or browse for and find it. You can define new blocked applications using exactly the same method. Stealth Ports Wizard. You can block all incoming connections and make your ports stealth for everyone. Uh, you can also alert to connections and make your ports stealth on per case basis if you use P2P networking and remote desktop. Just click OK when you set it up. Active connections will show you what the ports are doing, whether it's inbound, outbound, and so on. Block network zones, if you have any, they will show there. Advanced. You can pretty much leave these as they are, the same as global rules, network zones, and port sets. Uh, advanced users may want to go in and change them, but for most of you, you'll be quite happy the way they are. And the same with predefined firewall policies. You can right click, add, edit, remove but most of you leave it as it is. Firewall behavior, now this is set to safe mode and you can create rules for safe applications. The alert will be on screen for 120 seconds, you can change this. Alert settings are set to low, so you won't get a massive amount of pop-ups. In advanced, tick protect the ARP cache, block gratuitous ARP frames, block fragmented IP datagrams is pre-ticked. Defense plus, you can view defense events and here are the events there are two that were to be run in the sandbox which I've taken outside protected files you pretty much want to leave those alone unless you're an advanced user blocked files you can add by file group running processes browse pending files if there are any here you can click on them and you can move them to your own save files or your blocked files you can submit them look them up you can delete them your own save files, I put uh, sandbox in as a save file. You can also change this to pending or blocked and you can remove it if you like. View active processes, this is like task manager. And if you have something running that you don't want running, such as malware of any form, you have the option to show the full path, terminate or terminate and block. Trusted vendors, now Komodo has a list of over 3 million valid 
programs and they're adding to it all the time and you can add and remove any that may not be on the list. Your protected registry keys, you want to leave those as they are. Advanced users may want to go and make some changes as with the COM interfaces but in most cases most users leave it. In the sandbox there's nothing to show there at the moment but you can add programs to the sandbox and you can run them untrusted, restricted, limited or unrestricted. You can run it by selecting browse, go through and I'll put setup95 in the sandbox so when I go to run that program it will be sandboxed. The sandbox settings, the security level is enabled. Leave all those boxes down the bottom ticked and notifications you'll have a 20 second pop up. Run a program in the sandbox. You can select simply by going to there, untrusted, restricted, limited, unrestricted. I'll run this with restricted privileges and you can see this is personal security installer uh, which is a rogue anyway and is trying to connect to the internet to remember my answer and block it. It really is that simple. And that gets rid of that. The advanced settings, computer security policies, you can leave these alone. Advanced users may go and make some changes. Predefined policies, again, leave them as they are. Image execution control, this is set to normal and detect shellcode injections and files to check are exe, bat, and com. Defense Plus settings, this again is set to safe mode. You'll get an alert on screen for 120 seconds. If you use clean PC mode, new executable files are not assumed to be safe and pending files are not assumed to be safe. You can also create rules for safe applications. You can block all unknown requests if the application is closed and you can deactivate the Defense Plus permanently, which is a bad idea. Monitoring settings, leave these as they are. If we click on more settings, you have the general settings where it will check for program updates. Language, you can go here and change your language. There's a bigger selection than what there is on the installation. You can also password protect it to simply enter and retype your password and this will suppress firewall and defense plus alerts if you tick the boxes. Themes, you have red or red. Logging, leave that as it is, 20 megabytes and advanced users may move it to a specified folder. Do not untick these two boxes. If you use a proxy server, click connection, uh, input proxy settings from IE or enter the details. You, again, you have the option to join the Threatcast community or not. Manage my configurations. Now this is important. This is set on proactive security. And if you use a program or somebody wants to connect to you using something like TeamViewer, you need to set it to firewall security and activate otherwise they won't be able to access you they can access your computer but they won't be able to do anything so if you're using Komodo and somebody wants to connect to your computer you need to change this diagnostics uh, we'll check your firewall to see if there's any problems with it check for updates just click start this is up to date there's no problems there you can browse the support forums there's a complete help file with it and you can get the copyright and version information. Now I've got a piece of malware here which I will run and we'll see what happens. Now security tool has been successfully installed but Komodo has run it inside the sandbox and you can keep this application inside the sandbox. So click OK, close that and as you can see the program is running but it's running inside the sandbox it wants to connect to the internet which I will block. If you view active processes come down to the bottom just right click terminate and block click yes and then we'll close this window that's it gone. Just minimize that and as you can see it's gone from the desktop it doesn't exist anymore it was kept within the file in the sandbox which is a great idea you can right click items and run them in the sandbox as well. If you want more information, check out my blog, which is Free PC Security, and you can find it at freepcsecurity.co.uk.